ಪ್ರೀತಿಯ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳೇ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಫಿಫ್ತ್ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸರ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ವಿ ಟಾಕ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಡಿಟೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡಯಾಗ್ನೋಸಿಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸರ್ ಓಕೆ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸರ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನು ಪತ್ತೆ ಹಚ್ಚುವುದೇ ಒಂದು ದೊಡ್ಡ ಸಮಸ್ಯೆ ಬಹಳಷ್ಟು ಸಂದರ್ಭದಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸರ್ ಫೈನಲ್ ಸ್ಟೇಜ್ಗೆ ರೀಚ್ ಆದ ಮೇಲೆ ಅದನ್ನು ಪತ್ತೆ ಹಚ್ಚಲಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅವಾಗ ಅದನ್ನು ಟ್ರೀಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಮಾಡುವುದು ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಡಿಫಿಕಲ್ಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ಡಿ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸರ್ ಈಸ್ ಡಯಗ್ನೋಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಅರ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಟೇಜ್ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಟ್ರೀಟೆಡ್ ವೆಲ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ಡಯಗ್ನೋಸಿಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸರ್ ಈಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಡಿಫಿಕಲ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದ ಡಯಗ್ನೋಸಿಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಟು ಟ್ರೀಟ್ ಸೊ ಬಟ್ ಟುಡೇ ವಿಲ್ ಸಿ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಟೆಕ್ನಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಅವೈಲೇಬಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಡಿಟೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸರ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಟೆಲ್ ಯು ದ ಓವರ್ ವ್ಯೂ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ದೋಸ್ ಟೆಕ್ನಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ರೈಟ್ ಲೇಟರ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಒನ್ the first method is biopsy the second method is histopathological studies okay third one is imaging techniques here we get the images of the suspected organs in the imaging techniques first one is radiography second one is ct scan you heard it and third one is the mri these three come under imaging techniques these three techniques are used to detect the cancers in internal organs remember this imaging techniques are used to detect the cancer in internal organs then the fourth one is use of antibodies it is possible to detect the cancer by using antibodies the fifth one is molecular biology techniques molecular biology techniques so there are mainly five methods that are available to detect the cancers let us see these five methods one by one okay first come to the biopsy the first one is biopsy so let's see what is biopsy see to understand this let's me let us understand this biopsy in a simplified way suppose you think that this is this is a part of the body there there is a suspicion of tumor on the part of the body the tumor is there the doubt is there but the tumor how do allo and the yav rite detect madudu olden days nalli use maatakkanta technique is biopsy in martin right they used to take a small piece of this suspected tumor small piece is taken and this is added to the slide so this is added to the slide here the small piece is taken and added to the slide then to this slide stain is added stain is added okay remember small piece of the suspected tissue is taken and added on the slide then what is added stain is added you know that is what is the role of the stain stain is used to the uh, proper visualization of that particular object so here stain is added and now this stain the slide is studied under microscope so 
they study under the microscope, mainly they search the cancer cells. If they found that any cancer cells are present, any cancer cells are present in this slide, then, then the report is this is the tumor. If they do not found any cancer cells while studying under the microscope, then this is not a tumor. This is not a cancer. So in this way, in the olden days, cancer was detected. Right? So now, if you understand, let's tell me what is biopsy. What is biopsy? A thin piece of suspected tissue is taken. Suspected tissue means doubtful. Right? Doubtful. Then it is stained. After that, examined under microscope. This is biopsy. Very, very important for the mass. So, what is biopsy? Biopsy is, biopsy is a, a thin piece of suspected tissue is stained and examined under microscope. A thin piece of suspected tissue is stained and examined under microscope is called biopsy. Okay. Now come to the second one. Histopathological studies. Histopathological studies. Let's see what is this. See, histo means already you know histo means what? Tissue. Histo means tissue. What is pathology? It is the study of disease. Right? So with this one we can come that. What is histopathological study? It is, it is detection of disease by studying tissue. Detection of disease by studying tissue is called histopathological studies. One example you see. Suppose in case of leukemia, how to detect the leukemia? Leukemia, blood cancer, how to detect the leukemia? It is very easy to detect the leukemia. How it is? Leukemia can be detected by blood test or bone marrow test. Yes, especially in the blood test, what is done? Cell count is done. Cell counts. Simply counting the cells, RBC, WBC, platelets. By counting the cells, if they found, if they found, our WBC count is more. If they found more WBC count, and that indicates leukemia. Right? WBC, but remember dear student, if little increase of the WBC, that is not leukemia, because in other infections also, there is the increase of WBC. If more and abnormal increase of the WBC, if they found by blood test, then that indicates that leukemia. So leukemia can be detected by simple blood test or bone marrow test. Got it? So here, this type of the study, this type of the study, that is what is called histopathological studies. Because Blood is a tissue. Studying the tissue to detect the disease. Got it? But, now see, in the histopathological study, what are studying? Tissues are studying. Even in the biopsy, what are studying? Here also tissues are studied. So, basically, biopsy and histopathological studies are same. The basic principle of biopsy and the histopathological study are same. Right? So this is about biopsy and histopathological studies. Now come to the third one. Imaging techniques. 
right? This is widely used nowadays. Imaging techniques. Imaging techniques are used to detect the cancer of internal organs. So first imaging technique is radiography. Radiography under the bed, you know, radiography means what? X-ray. X-ray take you to the body. Other than that, internal organs are diseased. Other than that, what do you think? You can X-ray take you. Especially bone fractures, the lada ga that is detected by X-ray. X-ray is not only good. So radiography under the bed, X-ray. X-ray more than cancer are detected. So in the radiography, what is used? X-ray samples. Radiography, what are used? X-ray samples. And next came after that one more advanced technique came that is called the CT scan. CT scan. Right? What is a CT scan? What do you mean by CT? CT means computed tomography here here they started to use computers right images obtained in the computers x-ray sheet na badalagi illi image yelli mudutte computer screen alli mudutte so that type of the scanning technique is called CT scan computed tomography here you see here also x-rays are used but difference is that this gives a 3d image of internal organs so CT scan the 3d image formation of the therefore it is very easy to detect the cancer by CT scan so in the speech CT scan, use of X-rays to obtain 3D image of the internal organs. Remember this. Now, very important imaging technique is very important nowadays widely used imaging technique to detect the cancer is MRI. If the radiography and the HR use for the law, CT scan and put a use for the law, if they use for the other, MRI use for the law. What is the full form of MRI? It is magnetic resonance imaging. Don't forget. Magnetic resonance imaging, that is the full form of MRI. Right? Here, here, magnetic field and this important and non ionizing radiations are used that is why it is the safest technique because in this technique what are used non ionizing radiations are used not x-rays are used x-ray use managila non ionizing radiations and the strong magnetic field is used to get the image of internal organs. Here we can get very 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 clear image than CT scan. CT scan into clear in the image formation of the MRI. And this is the safest and the best method to detect the cancer. Nowadays cancers are detected by which method? MRI method. Okay? Now, this is about imaging techniques. Now, come to the fourth one. Fourth one is use of antibodies. Use of antibodies. Some of the antibodies are prepared. Those antibodies are against the cancer specific antigens. They are specific to cancer cells. Right? So, let's see how it is. Suppose you think this is the cancer cell. On the surface of the cancer cells, you can see what? These are the antigens. You can see the antigens on the surface of cancer cells. Cancer cells in the surface of the antigens. Now, now, they prepared the antibodies. What they prepared? Antibodies. 
these antibodies specifically react with these antigens present on the surface of cancer cells so here here cancer is detected based on the antibody and antigen reactions this prepared antibody if it is react with the antigen then we can say that is there are presence of cancer cells if this prepared antibodies do not react with the antigens then we can say there is there are no presence of cancer cells so by this method also by using antibodies also nowadays it is it is possible to detect cancer so therefore fourth method is use of antibodies against cancer specific antigens antigens are present on the surface of cancer cells now last one is it is the most advanced method that is the molecular biology techniques right it is the most advanced method here in the molecular biology techniques it is to detect the cancer related genes here genes are studied whenever you think about molecular biology molecular biology antaradara ane irutte dna rna proteins idella study maduvantaddu molecular biology irutte correct so illi direct agi cancers genes galanna study madalagutte in the dna directly studying the dna and in that dna what are present genes are present directly we are studying the cancer related genes a genes are in other problem with you a genes are in other activate agwa sadhyate idu you will all study more the molecular biology technique but it is not that much easy technique it is very 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 complicated techniques right very very complicated techniques but by this technique also it is possible to detect the cancers because cancer is due to the change of the genes so yena the gene change agide anta study madodu that is molecular biology techniques okay this is actually about the detection of cancer here i would like to tell you one more word it is just for the information see here one word it is what is that called mammogram have you heard the word called mammogram mammogram so wherever you find the word mammogram it is nothing but it is the technique used to detect breast cancer used to detect breast cancer memo memo means memory line right memo means memory line so mammogram is the technique used to detect the breast cancer this is just additional knowledge to increase additional information to increase your knowledge so this is about the detection and diagnosis of the cancer and this is a very important for three months right three months okay okay students in the next video we talk about we will talk about treatment of cancer Till then, keep smiling. Thank you so much.